Uh, this is a pig from, I think, fifth period. It's actually a decent size. I love the way these guys have already cut open the scrotum. That's nice. All right. Same thing we need to look at. Um, first of all, we need to finish their dissection. So I'm going to cut it down the side. Cut it down the side. Oops, cut the intestine. Oh, well. No problem. Break the ribs. Okay. Um, scrape the tissue. There I can see the ureter. All right, keep scraping it down. And it really is just taking the scissors and just kind of scraping the clear stuff. If you're a little bit careful, just a little bit careful, you'll only cut the, the connective tissue. So, and I can see the, um, the ureter. Which goes, you can just see right goes right into the bladder right there, right. But what I need to do is get into the scrotum. To do that, I need to cut down, cut down right here. Now the, the group one in here did a great job without knowing what they were doing, mostly because they had a, thought they had a female and they cut down and they ended up having a male. It's always good to know what sex your pig is, all right. Okay, see that little pop hole right there? That's what I'm looking for, is that little hole? And from that point, yeah, that would be the inside of the scrotum. See, guys get upset about this. Girls, for some reason, you split their hips open, they go, oh, cool. Guys are like, yeah, get it, looks like it hurt. It probably would. And then I can reach in and pull out, when it comes, pull out the... Maybe, if it decides to cooperate, that's not being very friendly to me. Right there, there's what I'm looking for. That little guy right there, all right? That would be the testy, okay? Testy is right here. The epididymis is right below it. Okay, actually, I am wrong. I'm sorry. The testy is this little lima bean shaped thing. The epididymis is up because it actually comes up and back around. So, testy, epididymis, spermatic duct. The spermatic duct goes up to the penis. It actually goes up here. And if you want to be very, very careful, you can actually dissect this area up here. And it's done pretty much like I'm doing it just scissors and scrape but you'll find the penis up here. And so uh, your, your uh, urine is produced in the kidney, as you know, most of the time, always. Uh, that made a lot of sense. Um, the ureter goes to the bladder. The bladder then goes outside to the, through the penis up the urogenital opening. The sperm is produced in the, in the testy, uh, stored in the epididymis. The spermatic duct carries it up. And if I pull on it a little bit, you'll notice it comes back around here and it also travels up to the penis. And that's the male part. But to cut the male, the biggest thing is you got to make one, make sure you have a male. Two, cut down into the scrotum and find this little thing. It just pops right out. All right. When you do take your dog or your cat in for castration, what they're actually going to do is cut the outside of the scrotum. A little cut. Pull this testy out. Pop it off. Cut it off. Sew the scrotum back up and that's it. That's how they castrate a dog or cat. Um, if you're, uh, if you're out in the wild, not wild, but you're working a cattle ranch or, or something like that, they will take the calves and they'll cut them open with just a knife, pull it out, and bite the testes off. That's how they actually castrate cows. Pause. <laughs>